this here's home to homesteader down on the piece of Eden homestead. Got a little hat with my hat on, but want to get the good intro there. Again, thanks for that gift from the Greenleafs. I really like it and use it a lot, but it's been relatively warm even here after snow again in 2021. And I've been working and busy turning Snowplow 2.0 in the snowplow 3.0 ha 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 so with this new version i'm gonna go get on to some plowing but want to go over a few things uh if you watch my homer's hour some shorter period of homestead and heart to heart honesty you'll see that uh i've been spending a little bit of my time converting Snow or starting out with snowplow 2.0 and turn it into snowplow 3.0, and that's a fun journey. But I wanted to show you the only pieces of snowplow 2.0 that I hadn't used in snowplow 3.0 are those two pieces, and they were the original snowplow 1.0. So I got those pieces left. I'm gonna sling them over here out of the side. Wanted to go over the tools I used. Uh, wait, I misinformed you. There were a few other pieces of snowplow 2.0 that I didn't use. And it's let me get them, let me get them. There are five nails, six nails. Sorry, six nails. Don't let me lie to you. Six nails right here that I took out of snowplow 2.0 that I didn't reuse. Some of them I probably could. I was finding those thinner nails that I had uh, harvested out of some pallets were a little bit rusty and uh, really uh, malleable. They were bending over. So onto the tools I used. I used two hammers and my wonder bar, mostly at taking out nails. <clears throat> I only used a wonder bar for that, not pounding them in, but I also used the hammers to pound nails in but I used them, the Wonder Bar 2, all three of those tools I used to take apart Snowplow 2.0. Next up, used a couple quick grips. Uh, hold boards in place while I saw them. I was trying out my new Ryobi. Reciprocating saw. Wah-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> and on the advice of Horatio, I used those there clamps to hold it down so the board didn't go like this when the blade was going up and down. And last but not least, I used my handy dandy Ryobi drill. So those are the tools I use. Set them down over here out of the way and show you. I think these are improvements. I'm not yet sure. Snowplow 2.0 did pretty good. Made it all the way to end the driveway and partway back. Now that's eight tenths of a mile. Plus it did some of the plowing up here in the courtyard. Uh, so probably a total overall of a mile of plowing before it broke up. Well, probably over about a mile and a quarter. And I'd run into some trees with it, which made it kind of breaking parts. You might have seen that on the intro to the Snowplow 2.0. So some improvements I made. Along here, I found me a piece of angle iron, put it in with a couple screws here, and then a couple over here behind the plywood. That's hopefully, if I get close to something, it'll, I will notice it before it breaks off this time. Uh, and then behind where I had those screws, much like in the last one, I just put some two by fours in behind those screws. Now I only had enough angle iron to come over this far, not quite over here. Uh, but when I broke it last time, it was on the side I was using to plow off onto the edge, and I caught a tree a couple times. And then I flipped it over, and it broke off the other side too, so it completely demolished it. I also uh, talked to you before about the angle not being quite right, and I'm not sure if you can see that from there or not. But this time, I had just been putting wood blocks behind it. This time... I built me out some uh, two by six here, and I put a two by four over on the other side, cut a little bit of an angle on them, and you can probably see this here. 
it actually goes at a different angle from here and then it's closer down here on this other side closer to the pallet fork back um was a little worried that that would twist so i put some cross members in this here this here and i kind of stacked them as kind of a homer thing and then i put a final another two by six and it's that old beat up two by six that was eating up wood eating up tree but anyway uh this is snow plow 3.0 like i said completely reused everything but about six nails from snow plow 2.0 and the original plow blade from Snowplow 1.0, which was incorporated into Snowplow 2.0. So we're going to see how Snowplow 3.0 works out here in Snowageddon 2021. Boy, uh, uh, uh. Really only about, you know, maybe five or six inches of snow yesterday, but it all packed down. It's pretty wet. Uh, this may not even need to plow it, but I wanted to give it a try. There are some places where the farm Prius was dragging on the bottom as I was going in and out of the driveway. So I'm going to give it a little shot. Snowplow 3.0. Ta-da! We'll see how it goes. I told you about my improvements to angles. Shoring that up, hopefully from twisting. Right here with these sets of boards and cross members. So that'll hopefully help it uh, to stay on an angle, push the snow off. Uh, also, by screwing it into there and building it up a little higher, I was having a problem with it sliding down this way. Snowplow 1.0 was riding up. 2.0 was tipping that way. So hopefully we'll be able to keep 3.0 uh, pretty level. Uh, and again, an improvement from 2.0 was to go below the pallet forks so it didn't go up. Not sure if this is helpful. It sure is fun. I'm enjoying myself here at PC Eden Homestead. Make sure to follow us, like our videos if you like our content, or even if you don't, give us some comments on stuff you'd like to see, how we're doing or not, kind of learning. Uh, Homer's the goofy one, Horatio, or Brian, he's the smart one. He's uh, really good at designing stuff, and uh, he gave me a couple tips on this. We'll probably even get more fancy as we go along. A lot of fun learning. Uh, anyway, and... Don't forget to share with your friends and family. They might like our antics and adventures, too. Just saw you like an update on Snow Again 2021, Snow Plow version 3.0, and an always, I just saw you like an update on a property.